Hi friends, day nine update. Um, so I really wanted to talk about sleeping at the fire station last night, which was super cool. Um, so on the map, it's like, you know, call the head and then they'll let you stay there or something. So I try to call all day, but I have zero reception. And so I only get a hold of the fire, the bunky fire department, like when I'm five minutes away. <laughs> and I'm like, so can I stay with you on a bike adventure? And they're like, yeah, sure. What night? And I'm like, tonight. Is that cool? And he's like, yeah, sure, come over. Uh, so I show up and he meets me and he's like, okay, so here's the deal. We only have one rule. The rule is you shower if you wanna sleep inside. And I'm like, okay, I'm down with that. And he's like, yeah, some people don't wanna shower. And I'm like, what? Why would you not wanna, why would you not wanna shower after biking for how many miles? It makes no sense. Uh, but so I, you know, I take the couch option uh, he shows me around, like shows me where the bathroom and the shower is, shows me the kitchen, it says like I can cook anything, so I make some ramen. Um, and then, I know we just like chat a little bit, which was super cool. His name is Ryan, I think he's probably about my age. And I realized I've never actually talked to a firefighter as an adult before, because I don't know, like, I think everybody wants to be one as a kid, and then I don't know what happens. Uh, but yeah, he was explaining his job, he has like, 24 hours on, 48 hours off. He says a lot of firefighters have like second jobs at either police department or other fire stations. Um, and they're actually like looking for somebody right now in Bunky. Uh, and anyway, so we chat for like a little bit, not a super long time. Uh, seems like a pretty cool dude. And then we both go to sleep. He goes to the bunker room, I sleep on the couch. And then at like 10.30, there's like this loud wailing sound throughout the whole fire station. I mean, it's not a huge building, but and he like dashes out of the room, runs to a truck, starts it, like sirens blaring, goes out, and I'm like, shoot, I hope everybody's okay. Um, and there's like all sorts of radio chatter. And then he gets back like sometime later and I'm still awake and he's like, yeah, there's this apartment complex. They called out that there was actually a fire in one of the apartments and it was like an 18 person unit or something. So he's like, that could be super, super serious but it was actually just like the HAVAC system sparking or something, so like, not that big a deal. Um, anyway, so then, yeah, that was, that was, that's basically it, that's the, the whole story. I left, their shift changes at 7 a.m., and I got up at like 6.30 and like, slid my bike out the back like he told me to. Um, I guess I could have stayed longer, but I didn't want to be in their hair. Um, and then I've been biking all day, and didn't have a particular destination in mind, so I've just been kind of cruising really nice not having to like feel the pressure to put on a certain amount of miles um and it's been for the most part like really quiet on the roads i don't know if that's i mean there's a little bit of traffic now i don't know if it's a sunday thing or like a super bowl thing either way it's been really nice the only thing that like really happened was i was on a like a 24 mile stretch between towns and i got so tired like just felt exhausted and i'm like shoot I need to eat all of my peanuts right now. So I ate like 1,200 calories of peanuts and then everything was fine. So moral of the story, if you're trying to bike across the country, make sure you eat your food and enough of it and all of it. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, and I, I got a pint of ice cream like shortly thereafter. Uh, and a banana, I ate a banana today. Oh my God, I almost forgot the best part. I ate a banana, it was awesome. All right, uh, I'll see you guys later, bye.